Hello all. In this tutorial, we will model texture and light and exterior in 3ds Max using V-Ray. So let's get started. So let's take a reference image over here. Go into rendering, view image file, and let's take a reference over here. So as we are going to model this right now over here. So let's start up. So let's take a plane. Very first of all, so we'll create this back part very first. So let's take a box over here and push the box a bit up. Go to this side view just extend it right click convert to editable poly and let's give a connect over here go to the vertices and shift this up so as you can see we have just shifted this part up over here so we can shift this a bit over here So you know created the base right now so we'll go it slowly now the next part over here we are going to create is let's put one loop over here so we can add some loop over here using a swift loop option so we have created a swift loop over here So you can extrude a bit if it is required if you want to extrude a bit so you can just click over here you can just extrude a bit and you can click ok over here now the next step is we are going to create this so we have one more option over here so let's try that option so very first of all make it a copy rotate it take this as a 90 degree over here push it over here so now what you can do over here is select this let's attach it or oh, you have one more option over here you can just select it you can go over here extended primitives oh sorry compound objects you have option called pro boolean and you can union it but for unioning it you have to uh, attach it you can just select this start picking so you have union it so as you can see as you union it you can see so this is a kind of uh, single element so you can just convert to editable poly you can go into this you can select this and you can easily you can delete it so so before deleting it what we can do is right click let's put a cut over here using a cut option so use a cut option over here to add a menu loop so go into this polygon and you can just delete this polygon
as it is required you can select this part and you can shift it a bit out and you can just select this and you can use so I cannot use a bridge option because I cannot extrude it also so if you try to extrude this you cannot extrude it because it is a this edge is not separated it's a single part of that so even you cannot extrude it out so if you try to extrude it, it will form in this uh, particular way so not a problem so what we can do is we can add a bit of a loop over here let's add a loop over here let's go to this edge option and ring it and let's add a loop we can add a loop over here let's use a use a cut option we'll just save it first of all just add a cut option over here so not a problem we can just add a loop over here just add one connect and select this connect and you have option called target weld it's weld so now it's uh, perfectly formed up so now you can just select this both and you can bridge it so you can easily bridge this two options so not a problem over here you can press control backspace to remove that particular loop over here so no problem you can add a loop over here connect over here. and you can shift it up So you know, when you go with the extrude part, uh, you go with the boolean part, it creates a problem sometimes because you're merging the elements of the shape. Says you know you're disturbing the shape. So let's remove it. Perfect. So now you can just shift this up okay so as you can see we have created this particular shape over here so since we have not created any kind of a boundary yet 
So you can just select this two shapes. You can just give a bit of a inset option over here. Just click OK and just press delete. So you just create a shape you can utilize it in this way accordingly so if you don't require it we can just delete the shape also if it is not required you can easily delete this shape now the next part over here is so even if you are if you want to create a second part of it so like you know if you don't want to boolean it you can easily create this as an individual part also so if you if you like to create this as an individual you can create it as an individual part also if you don't want to merge it so as we are attaching it so attach will uh, totally make it as a single part so you can Put some more loops over here so this is a one way method which we can use you can also use if you would like to use the other way if you want to make this as a different part we can go with that also that can also help you out in a much much better way So let's go with the second part. I'll show you the second way which we can use it. So you can just hide the selection. You can just hide it. You can just take again a box over here as we have taken it. And you can add one loop over here. And you can shift this up. Great. So now uh, as we have done for that the same way but we are going to take a box over here we are going to take a box over here so we are going to increase the height of the box and we are going to keep the box onto this level and we are going to convert this to editable poly and gonna put some loop over here and push this up better you can shift this up that would be a better option so this is also a one way method which we can utilize it You can just resize it. Just scale it down. You can select this, give an inset option, and you can extrude it inside and click OK so this is going to be a better option for us to work it out So you can, if you would like to extrude the particular area, you can easily extrude this area. So what you can do is you can just insert it and just click OK. We'll go to the top view. 
and we can just check it out from where this object is merging so we can just add a swift loop over here so in this fashion what we can do is we can just select the area which is required for that to be extruded to the out part that's it so as you can see over here so we have just selected this particular area which is actually required over here to be merged up we can select both the limits and let's give a particular just a flat color to it so still you require something you can just insert it a bit click ok see we are just you can still you can shift if you want to shift something more out of it you can you can shift more and more over here and you can just extrude it out for that you know you want to achieve some result right so as you can see we have just uh, extruded that area out from it you can still shift this up till here you can you know so now you can add a loop over here a uh, better one so very first of all we can select all the area and extrude it in all the directions by local normal and click ok that's it you can just push it down and make it matched up okay so as you can see we are making some changes so as we are having to get the camera view over here so no worries about it you can manage it in the uh, proper way so. Still we have some more options if you want to make it get it more extruded so you can extrude these areas you can easily extrude these areas from here or you can just extrude these areas just get it extruded and the local normal form and let's push this down so thanks for watching this tutorial we'll continue in the second part